Hello, I'm Matt Groves, Developer Advocate for Couchbase. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Couchbase Server for Windows. Let's start at Couchbase.com, click the Download button here, and then I'll pick the version that I want to download. I'll select Community Edition and 4.5.0 Beta, which is the latest release at the time of this video, and hit the Download button to download an executable. Alternatively, if you have Chocolatey Nougat, you can just type in Choco install Couchbase Server Community to install Couchbase Server Community. I'm using the dash pre on there because I want to download the beta version. Now I'm going to go ahead and run through the executable to show you the whole experience. So I'll just double click this exe here and this will start a standard install shield wizard. Alright, we're ready to install, so I'll hit the next button. And then I'm fine with that destination folder, so I'll hit next. This is just a note about the minimum requirements for Couchbase Server. So I'll hit install. And it's going to start installing files. Okay, so it's finished installing. We'll hit finish here. Now what it's going to do next is open up a web page that will take us to the Couchbase console where we can finish setup. And that is localhost at port 8091. Now before I do that I want to show you if you open up services.msc you'll see Couchbase server listed there as a Windows service. So you can actually stop or start or pause or restart the service just from services.msc. Okay, back to the console. We'll click Setup to get started. And this is what we're going to do, is start a new cluster. Now, at this point, we could join an existing cluster, but we haven't actually created a cluster yet, so we have to start a new one. So we'll start a new cluster with one node to begin with. We can select which services we want, Data Index Query. I'll go ahead and select Full Text. That's a new service in Couchbase Server 4.5, but it is still a developer preview and not supported. I can change the data RAM quota, so I'll change that to 8192, and I'll leave the other ones alone. And we'll go ahead and click Next, and that'll start a new s cluster for us. At this point, I can choose to install a sample bucket. These are great for trying out Couchbase and learning more about Nickel. I'll go ahead and select Travel Sample and hit Next. At this point now, I can optionally create a, a default bucket called default, and I can specify how much RAM I want to give it of the total quota, and I get a little visual guide there that shows me how much of the total RAM this bucket might take up. And there's some other options, but I can also just skip creating a new bucket completely, and that's what I'm going to do, because I'm already creating the travel sample bucket. Now I can uh, agree to the terms and conditions and hit next. And the last step is to create an administrator account with a username. It can be anything you want to and a password. I'll just go ahead and use administrator and enter a password there and hit next. And that's it. The travel sample is going to take a minute to load, but otherwise you're ready to use Couchbase Server. Thanks for watching my video. Please let me know what you think and what else you would like to see in a video tutorial. Leave a comment below or contact me at matthew.groves at couchbase.com or ping me on Twitter. I'm M. Groves. Thank you.